Okay, due to some of the kind reactions I've had on the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot videos, I am back to making videos on this channel. It won't only be DBZ Kakarot, I've also got some Dragon Ball Strongest Warrior stuff I'm working on. Uh, um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but... I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now, so you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So, what should I do? Hmm, you might not like this suggestion, but why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. And not just with others, but with himself, too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. Let's go find Vegeta. This looks pretty good. What do you want? Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger, so something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd! You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat! Huh? But I... Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the aliens out of you. Okay, this isn't ideal as the first fight back, but we'll roll with it. I think yeah, the last fight we did on this was versus Cell, and that was a while ago. I haven't picked up his game since then, so let me just get used to the controls for a minute. I'm gonna be a little bit awkward. And I just noticed the last save point, I have hardly any health left. Oh man. Might get crushed too, to be honest. Lucky that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. <laughs> this is very awkward trying to get the muscle memory back. <laughs> I'm just keep dodging, keep dodging, and yeah, we beat him to it with that. <laughs> ah, now I'm starting to remember. 
as soon as you get that full power back. <clears throat> Alright, I know we need to make some room recharge up. Right, let's get away with it. Nice. Alright, now I'm just going to string together a good combo. All of it, right? It didn't take much damage at that. That was kind of cool. We both killed each other with the at the same time. That was close. <coughs> this AI always gets intense towards the end of fights. It's great. It's not like it's super easy and boring. Oh, he's almost done. Let's wait for him. Ah, GG. You gotta love how much Vegeta hates Goku. <laughs> You were far more powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I... I need to do some serious soul-searching. I... I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not gonna be happy about it, though. Greetings! <laughs> Thank you so much! There's a lot of energy in this thing. It's like we gotta go to Kami's lookout. I wonder what then they want. <laughs> Greetings. Yes. Hmm, let's see. What do you think? Thank you so much! Right! Excuse me. What? Let's see. What? Sure. Right. Yes. Um. How is that sound? <laughs> Very well. Hmm. What? Indeed. Right. Now to Kami's house. Now I'm pretty sure she said south house so let's just head that way 
Ah, um, that's a big boat. Is this it? Ah, now I see the rainbow scales on top. Is that a Dragon Ball? It is. Ah, uh, let's head back to Thomas Lookout. party now choose whoever you want to go on an adventure with ah uh, so i figured vegeta and piccolo because that's who i went to for training so it makes sense to me that's the one picking ah uh, let's head out okay why did i pick a party if i'm just going back to my house whatever Losing the wild hair. Fine, I'll tone it down around the house. You'll be going to a respectable school one day. We can't have your classmates thinking you're some renegade rock star. Okay, okay. I'll limit it to my training. School, huh? <laughs> That'll be something. Thanks to Gohan and his father, the planet was freed from Cell's evil clutches. The people of Earth were finally able to live in peace once again. However, during times of peace, people have a tendency to foolishly grow complacent. Such is the fate of mankind. I'm going to end this episode here and we'll continue the story in the next episodes.